Hello all. Today we will be looking at a question given in gate 2019. A certain processor uses a fully associative cache of size 16 KB. The cache block size is 16 bytes. Assume the main memory is byte addressable and uses a 32 bit address. How many bits are required for the tag and index fields respectively in the addresses generated by the processor? The NPTEL video reference is lecture 30 on cache memory part 1. Course name is Computer Organization and Architecture by Professor Kamalika Datta from IIT Kharagpur. Now let us look at the useful data before solving this question. What is a cache? A cache is a memory system that temporarily stores the frequently used instructions and data for quicker processing by the central processing unit or CPU of the computer. So if you are given the CPU, there exists a main memory. Uh, so CPU is used to execute the instruction or the data, let's say the cache memory is not there. So what CPU would do is, it will continually address the main memory, get the instructions and data from the main memory and execute. Now main memory is an out of chip memory. So what we do is, in between CPU and main memory, we put, we put an on chip memory called the cache memory, such that the CPU can access the cache memory in, in a faster manner because it is in the chip only. Okay. And since cache memory is lesser in size, not all main memory blocks are, can be placed in the cache memory. Which main memory block to place is decided by something called cache mapping. And once there is a, there is a block which needs to be, once the, uh, once one of the main memory block needs to be mapped in the cache memory, and let's say that block is currently in use, there exists some cache replacement algorithms which we can use to delete, to, re, to replace the uh, block in the cache. So data mapping is used to map the main memory block to the cache. Replacement algorithms are used to replace one of the block when a uh, miss occur. Okay, miss occur and the cache block is occupied. Okay. Now let us look at what is cache mapping. A cache mapping is a technique of mapping the main memory blocks to the blocks in the cache memory. The main memory is logically divided into blocks while the cache is logically divided into blocks or lines of a given block size. So there are three techniques of mapping main memory blocks to the cache. One is a direct map cache, another is a fully associative cache and third is a set associative cache. Now let us look at what is direct mapped cache or direct mapping. In the direct mapping technique, main memory block is mapped to only one location in the cache block. If you have n lines or blocks in the cache memory, the block bi is mapped to the i mod n block of the cache. So if you have the CPU and we have the cache memory, so the cache memory is logically divided into set of blocks of a given block size. Let's say the block size is 2. So it has 2 blocks B0, B1. While the main memory is similarly divided into set of blocks, it has 4 blocks B0 to B3. Now B0 to B2 will be mapped to 0 mod 2 and 2 mod 2 which is 0th block of the cache. While B1 and B3 will be mapped to 1 mod 2 or 3 mod 2 which is B1, uh, block 1 of the cache. This is direct map cache. In fully associative mapping, the cache lines of blocks can be mapped to any block in the cache. So any block in the main memory can be mapped to any block in the cache. Inside the associative mapping, the cache lines are further divided into sets of blocks and each block is mapped to a set and within a set, each block of the main memory is mapped to a set and within a set, the block can be placed in an associative manner. So if we have n sets in our cache, the block bi is mapped to i mod n set in the cache and within the set it can go to any block. So if we have let's say the same cache, uh, we have a cache memory which has 4 blocks b0 to b3, let's say the number of sets is 2, so it will have two sets s0 and s1. So any block let's say b0 will be mapped to 0 mod 2 which is s0 and within s0 it can go to any of the block either b0 or b1. So it's a, it's a mediator, medium, uh, it's a middle of direct map than fully associative mapping. Now let us look at how do we address an element. So let us define this variable capital L which denotes the number of bits required to address one element in the main memory. With, so capital L is given by log base 2 of the size of the main memory. So if we have a direct map cache, our address space is divided into three parts. One is the block offset, which is the exact word that we want to address within that block. 
one is a line or block number that we are trying to access and one is a tag. So tag is like if we have a cache block let's say b0 and there are two main memory blocks that can come either b0 or b2. If b0 is there or b2 is there is defined by the tag. In a fully associative cache since it does not contain the block number because any block can be mapped to any block in the cache we have the entire thing as tag. So we do not have any block number or index. It's sometimes also called index number because we are looking at first the index which is which block it is in. Then we are matching the tag and then we look at the exact word within that block using the block offset. In set, set associative cache we use the set number instead of the block number. Now let us look at the solution. Now let us read the question again and try to find what are the bits in the question. So a certain processor uses a fully associative cache. So we find out that the mapping used is fully associative and the cache size is 16 KB. The cache block size is 16 bytes well, and the main memory is byte addressable that means one word is one byte and it uses a 32 bit address. So we have this info about from the question. So I place the information here for reference. The number of bits we use to address one element of the main memory will be nothing but 32 because we have main memory address bit as 32. And it's a fully associative cache, so it will have two fields, stack and block offset. Since the cache is a fully associative cache, we do not require any index bits as any block can be mapped to any cache block in the cache. So therefore, our index bits will be zero. That is the first part of our answer. Now, number of bits to address a byte within a block, which is nothing but log base 2 of cache block size. So it's 16 bytes. So one to address a byte within a block, we need four bits. So the address space, this entire address space is 32 bits. The block offset takes 4 bits. So the tag will take 28 bits. So the correct answer to this question is option D, 28 bits and 0 bits for the tag and index fields respectively. I hope you all get it. Thank you.